It is, let's see, Monday, May 8th. One week and one day since I left Las Vegas. I've been in New Jersey all weekend. I'm actually right now at the Target I used to work at. I'm leaving the parking lot. I just visited everybody for a while. Um, so I came back for that. Um, and I'm about to head north to Vermont. I haven't had the camera on all weekend. Um, but I haven't been doing much. Cleaning up my storage unit that's here. Kind of visiting with people, that kind of thing. And that really ends trip part two. Part one was Las Vegas to Houston. Um, then part two was leaving Houston, going to New Orleans and making it to New Jersey, which I've done. And now part three, the end, the act three of my trip is just this last stretch going up to Vermont. So we're going to do that today. I don't know if there'll be much interesting to see or show um, because well, I'm going up through New York State and on the New York Thruway and it's rural, it's rural interstate. It's rural for you know, the east. It's not like the desert roads, but it's rural. So we'll see if there's anything interesting. It's going to be a while for our first stop. And it's actually kind of good that it's 1038 in the morning because traffic might have lightened up a little bit. I've got my toll money ready and um, we're doing it. So we're going to Vermont. See you later. There it is, everyone. You should see it as I roll by. It's like crossing the finish line. Welcome to Vermont. All right, it's not exactly crossing the finish line because I'm still going to my friend Joe's house, but it's close. I have made it back on a way that I have made it back a lot. Uh, I have taken this route in uh, route 7 from Troy to Route 9 through Bennington up into Wilmington, which is where my friend Joe lives. Um, I've taken this way home a hundred times, hundreds of times from New Jersey, uh, parts of upstate New York. Uh, pretty much any time we've left the state of Vermont, this is the way we've gone. And this is the way we come back. So it's kind of fitting that I'm going this way. Um, I went this way for two reasons. One, initially I was going to go to Travis's first. My friend Travis, which is where I'll be living, um, but I found out Joe was home today. He wasn't working, so I said, "Screw it, I'll go kill time at his house for a little while." Since Travis isn't home, he's just gone to work, so I'm gonna go to Joe's. I'm gonna hang out there for a little bit. I'll end up at Travis's eventually. Um, there wasn't much to show on the way up. It was a pretty simple drive, and I made it quick too. I wasn't wasn't going slow. I was hammering it out, but. Then again, for all the miles I've done this week, that little bit between New Jersey and here was nothing. Nothing compared to some of the miles I did this week. And even though, yes, it is still raining and dark in New England, oddly enough, I'm starting to believe her. Maybe the East Coast is just dark and wet and cold since it is only 44 degrees and just that's what it is. I don't know. Maybe I just remember it different. Anyhow, I'm going to finish my drive. We'll check it again later. So as I charge up the hill out of Bennington, Vermont towards Wilmington, and I'm going up the hill about 20 miles up. Not 20 miles in elevation, obviously. It's only, I don't know, a thousand foot elevation change, but it's 20 miles up the mountain. And I'm not gonna show it yet because it's hard to see, so you won't see it on the camera. But it's May 8th. And I'm driving in a snow flurry. Like I said, it's not easy to see. It's very light. It's very light. But, well, I'll turn and turn the camera out. Let me see here. Now, if you look at the road, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Maybe not. We'll just try it. But that's not regular wet. That's snow flurries. And I don't know. On the phone, like I can't see it through the camera. But trust me, there is snow flurries in May 8th. It's also 36 degrees up here. It's cold. I did not think it was still that cold here right now. Because it is May. The school gets out in a month. A little over a month. And uh, it's snow flurry coming up through Woodford and Searsburg. Um, it's a little crazy. So... 
I'm going to try and pay more attention to this because if it gets squirrely and gross out and I have to actually pay attention to my driving, that, that might be something. But man, I did not expect to see snow. Like, I didn't expect it. I just did not expect it. It's fucking snowing. All right, we'll just keep driving in the snow then, I guess. Later. Here, look at, look out there. Look out there. There's snow on the trees. You gotta be able to see that. I don't know, on a little screen it looks like you can't see that. Maybe on a bigger screen you can see it. So I don't know how well it's gonna look on anybody who's watching this on their phone or a tablet or anything like that, but man, it, it's May 8th and I come home. Now look, everybody know Tim loves winter. Tim loves the snow. But I did not, I just didn't expect to see it. And granted, it's not a lot. Obviously, it's just a flurry, but it's enough where you can see it on the trees and on the road, and it's snowing, and it's friggin' snowing in May. I, be <laughs> I believe in climate change. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep going down the hill.